Hi, I'm Ellen Gormley and welcome to my channel. Red Heart sent me some lovely things to share with you and so I've not seen it yet, I just opened the box, so let's get started. I have other unboxing videos, so make sure you like and comment and subscribe. Be Ooh, okay, okay, all right, I'm getting excited. So they wrapped it in this pink tissue. Ooh, oh goodness, okay, so these are huge. They sent me three balls of It's a Wrap. I didn't know what I was getting when they sent. They would send, said they would send me some yarn. This is so cool. So they have jumped on the cake yarn bandwagon. This is called It's a Wrap. Um, it's 50% cotton, 50% acrylic, 1,100 yards, 1,100 yards. Oh my gosh, you can do so much with 1,100 yards. So it's a size one weight and they're recommending a size D crochet hook and it looks like 22 single crochets and 15 rows to a four inch swatch. Machine wash, warm, cold, dry, flat, do not bleach, do not iron, do not dry clean. Good, I don't wanna dry clean it anyway. Okay, this colorway is called Romance and um, I'm so inspired by this. This is so exciting. The color change is so long on this, which is perfect for crochet. So, um, Crochet uses a lot of yarn, and so you need a really long color change so that you can really get the full effect. So if you have a yarn that has a really short color way, short sections of color at a time and it changes a lot, in crochet it just all tends to look muddy, but with a really long color way you can really see the colors and it doesn't get all um, mixed together and tweedy looking. You actually get the benefit of the color. So, and this is soft. Look how squishy this is too. 1100 yards. It really is very nice. So, cotton and acrylic. Lovely. Okay, so here's an example. Here's the photo on the label that shows just how long the colorways is. And this one is goes from like pink to like a like a burgundy fuchsia color to a more of a um a Barney purple in the middle and so really really lovely I cannot wait but look at these other colors they also sent me of it's a wrap this one is called documentary and it has three colors also so it goes from this sea blue to this more of a um, kind of a jade green blue to almost a denim blue in the middle it is it's very lovely and I can't tell you like how good this feels in my hand. It's very squishy, it's very um, tactile, which for me when I say it's tactile, it means it just it just feels good to hold, like it's fun to hold. I don't even know how to describe um, like why a ball of yarn is fun just to hold, but it is. So I can see this being really gorgeous. Now again, it's a size one, so you need a little hook. You need a D hook for this, but boy, these colors are really inspiring and um, it's just really lovely. This really fits my aesthetic, which is tends to be, I tend to like solids. I tend to like these colors, these are gorgeous. And um, it's cotton and acrylic, so it's very wearable and usable. So this is right up my alley. Thank you so much, Red Heart. I'll put a link in the description below about where to get these. Look at this. Okay, so this is gorgeous too. So you have the oatmeal and then a gray and then a black. And it is so rare to find projects online that use black because they're really hard to photograph. So um, while we love to wear black in our wardrobes, most of us, I know I do, it's rare to actually crochet in black because it's gonna be kind of hard to see. You know, you need really good lighting. I've got a beautiful white light, you know, that um, I crochet with. So crocheting with black can be really difficult, but this is really lovely. So these items are meant to be um, used from the middle. You pull from the middle, so the lightest color is, or the color in the middle is the one you work first. That's the, um, the beginning of your project if you're working in rows or the middle of your project if you're working in rounds and then as you go out, the color goes out. Or as you go up in a project, if you start from the bottom, then the gray, white, would, or the oatmeal would be first and then the gray and then the black would be at the top. So you do need to strategize like which 
color you want to come first in the sequence when you're using these because you could absolutely reverse it. You could work from the outside and you know do the black in the middle of a motif and then work lighter on the outer side of a motif worked in rounds or if you're working in back and forth rows you know you could start with the black and then move to a lighter color and that totally would change the effect so these are exciting please comment like subscribe um, tell me what you're inspired to make with it's a wrap from red heart and if you've already used this please let me know tell me how it worked what tell me what you thought about it but just holding on to it is a lot of fun and the colors are very exciting and i appreciate them sending me three different colors because you can really see you know the variety that they have i'm sure they have even more colors in their catalog so go to redheart.com i'll put the link in the description below so you can get your own so that's a wrap with it's a wrap thanks for joining me